All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get up and running using a Swift UI list view very quickly. So a list view is perfect for any kind of repeating element. So what we're gonna set up here is a very straightforward list. Think of it as kind of a table view, right? So you know how you would scroll through, swipe to scroll through a table view? That's kind of the equivalent here is a list view. So I've got a new application I've set up here. It's on iOS, but it really doesn't matter which one it is. Any of the platforms is the same. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create myself a little data source here of just a very basic list of strings. So we're just gonna say let my data source, and it's gonna be an array of strings, all right? And I'm just going to give it some strings to get started here. In fact, we don't even really need to. Swift is going to figure it out for us here. So I'm just going to say, um, let's just call this app one, app two, and I think you see where this is going, app three, and app four. That, that's going to be all we need to get started here. So we've got a data source. It's an array with four strings, all right? First thing we're going to do is let's get rid of the default text here in the view. And it's going to give me some errors as I need to go in and fill these in. So we're going to put our list view, an empty list view. Nothing's going to show on the screen over here because it's empty. We're going to use a Swift UI for each loop. It's the same as a Swift for each loop, right? It's just going to say for each of something, go through and do this. So for each, and we're going to say my data source. So for each L, each item in my data source, right? Each row in the list needs to have a unique identifier if we need to use it for some reason. So the way we do that is we can simply say backslash dot self, right? Like so. And then I'm just gonna put these curly braces in here and you're gonna find that what's gonna happen here. Let's just clean those up. There we go. I now need to say my row in, right? So my row is gives me access to each of these, these elements up here. It'll make sense in a second. And these are very much like custom table cells. So you can put any controls you want in here. I'm just gonna use text for this example. And I'm just gonna say text my row. And there you go, you can see it's already updated over here. One, two, three, and four. So again, let's just go through this code very quickly. We've got our data source. We're gonna go for each, and then we're gonna say using my data source, with an ID of slash dot self, right? Backslash dot self to give us a, a separate ID for each of these rows. So if I wanted to swipe to delete a row or something like that, um, I've got a reference to each of these unique rows to work with. And then I'm gonna say over here, my row and then in, and then all I'm gonna do is put in whatever controls I want. So if I wanna add, for example, let's add some extra text here. Um, in fact, let's do it this way. So I'm gonna put an H stack because they need to be wrapped in a stack here. And then let's do the indentation. And I'm just gonna add app name, right? Like so. So there you go, you can see, right? You can put as many controls in you want as you want in here, like a normal Swift UI view. And you've got this view over here, it is scrollable. So if you had enough rows to go down beyond the screen, you would automatically get the scroll feature. So that's a very simple way there to get started with using a list view in Swift UI. Hope this has been helpful. Reach out to me. Uh, you can go to at Compile Swift on Twitter or you can go to CompileSwift.com and there's a contact form there plus plenty more content on Swift programming for you.